All right, it's free games month, and Tales of Majeal is, I think, if you went out and you said this is the greatest roguelike ever made, I think many folks would probably agree with you. Um, it is it is certainly one of the best open world survival turn based uh, fantasy RPG things. Uh, it's been around for a very long time, and it is free through the website. You can get it on Steam. It's like seven dollars on Steam, plus there's some DLCs in there just to support the development if you wish. But there is it is free uh, on te4.org if you want to get it there. Um, I do have all the DLCs. There's like three or four of them in here. And so we're going to check this thing out and see what it's all about. For those of you that are not familiar with Tales of Maj Eyal, or Tome, as it's called, you'll see this this name pop up a lot if you're a fan of, like, roguelikes or dungeon crawlers or whatever. You'll see Tome pop up quite a bit as, like, inspired by... It's one of those... It's kind of like the Dwarf Fortress of, of roguelikes, where um, it it's it's not the first in that genre, you know, but it's it took that and sort of... In, took it up a notch to where you've got like rogue you know and, and adam and all the all the roguelikes and this one has so much depth and so much well let me just play the game and, talk, and we'll see what's going on here so we're gonna play a uh we're gonna choose a human and a class um yeah there are 1782 achievements in this game i think i've got like five or six so and i'm i've got several hours in this but let's choose our person so we can choose a different a race and of the races there's loads of different classes in here that we can choose we want to be a summoner we can do that we want to be like a, a paladin that's all in there we can be all from, from good all the way to like um cursed and doomed folks and demented writhing folks these guys have like uh, uh tentacle hands um there is a I haven't played with it like a I haven't played with half of these. Uh possessor, this class is very strange. And each of these there's a bunch of different classes, and each class, depending on how you play the game, can be completely different. And uh um I'll try to show off as much of that as I can today. We'll see where we can get to though. Uh Tales of Middle Earth came out in ninety eight, and Tales of Majeal came out in twenty twelve. Okay. So I think – last time I played this, I played as a skeleton. So why wouldn't I? Um, there's there's – I'm, I'm tempted to do it again. But I think what I might do – there's also yeeks, which are sort of like, like small yetis. And they're nearly unheard of in Majael. It's been many thousand years as secret slaves of the halfling nation of Nargol. Uh, we're a race of small humanoids native to the tropical island of Ray, covered in white fur. Disproportionate heads gives us a ridiculous look. You know, I'm not opposed to that. We could be something like, I think I should go, I want to be something like, oh, I don't know, Reavers are terrible foes. Charging their enemies with a weapon in each hand, they can harness the blight of evil, infecting their foes with terrible contagious diseases, crushing their skulls, devastating combat techniques. Oh, what a friendly folks. I played as a Doombringer before, where we begin with our weapon in hand and sheathed in flame. Oh man, this is such a choice. I don't know what to pick. Fallen mages. I think I'm going to stick with like... This is my first time playing in a long time. I'm going to stick with something like a little more hack and slash. And... I... There's also adventurer. Just adventurer. I think I'm going to go with... So we got this this Wormick. Wormick are fighters who have learned how to mimic some of the aspects, some of, the aspects of dragons. They have access to talents normally belonging to the various kinds of drakes. Most important stats are strength and willpower. I think I'd like to be a dragon. Yes. I'd like to be um, a little yeti, a baby yeti dragon. Hey, Pigfinet, how's it going? So my name is going to be, of course, um, uh, um, oh, i got to tape it in here. Worm Nook. I have like like wings there. So I guess I'm going to be flying around biting people, whatever. A warm-blooded warm blooded kobold. Don't say things like that. That's not nice. Uh, there is permadeath mode, which is if you want to play roguelike style, you know, you go out there and you die, you're dead. Uh, there's exploration mode, which is a little bit easier way of playing it. So there's adventure mode where there is, as you can see, like you die, I mean, you'll come back when you die, but there is punishments for, for dying. I'm going to take that one just because it makes it exciting. And it won't end the stream immediately. So uh, you can also change your face, but I kind of like that guy. He's nice and he's nice and fuzzy. Yeah, let's do it. I am a yeek. 
Wormick. I remember wanting to play these guys before. And, uh, and hey, Zapra, how's it going? All right, so now let's build our let's build our character. And again, the, even within each class, there's lots of different things you can change here. And this is where we're adding in stats, class points, and ge and generic points. So we've got like our ability scores. We have class points would be like stunning blow, shield pump. These are all different based on your class. And then the, the generic points go into like the race specific things. Um, there are also uh, category points, which will, will eventually will grow further, like wild gifts and and whatever else will expand as we play the game. But uh, I said I was mostly a strength and willpower kind of guy. And you can see what we need based on, like, there's Stunning, stunning Blow. If I want to choose Stunning Blow, i got zero stats in it of five. Uh, it's a melee thing. It costs nine stamina. Uh, I have to have 12 strength to use it. And I hit the target do with my two-handed weapon doing 60% damage. Each hit will stun the target for three turns. This one isn't a, isn't a good example of what I was trying to show here. Um, I'll find one. I'll find one. Maybe I won't. Um, is this one? This might be one. Where, there you go. So I think I think my willpower is what's adding into the damage here. And it kind of shows you that with within the description. Everything's in the description. You transform yourself into pure lightning. That's pretty cool. Uh, I also have an acidic spray. I can spit ass all over people. I mean, that's pretty cool. Um... Wing Buffet. Summon a powerful gust of wind, knocking back your foes with a radius of three, three tiles away, and hitting them for four, 141 weapon damage. Yeah, okay. Let's let's Wing Buffet. I got two of these to spend. We already have Ice Claw in my uh, in my hand, uh, in me. Um. Yeah, if you played like Dungeons Crawl Stone Soup, Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, then then um, yeah. I mean, this is same uh, category. Swallow. Attack the target for nature damage, nature weapon damage. If it brings your target below a percent of its max life, attempt to swallow it, killing automatically and regaining life and equilibrium depending on its level. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go eat people. I want more points than that. Forget the wings. I wanna... Do I put two points into that already? Or do I, should I do the wings? I'll do one of each just so we can see what's, what's good. Uh, I think I'm mostly going to need... This is a... I need willpower for this. Nature weapon damage. Uh, I'm going to put my other points... I'm going to put some... I'm just going to put it in the con so I stay alive. There we go. Hey, Cross. How's it going? Uh, okay, and then I've got one generic point, which is my class... Or my race-specific points. Uh, dominant will... Um, is going to be an active thing. Shatter your mind of your victim, giving the, you, full, you full control of its actions for six turns. Based on my willpower. When it ends, you pull out you pull out your mind and the victim's body collapses dead. This is fantastic. Meditation, I can, um, like, heal myself, basically. And then i got a wild growth surrounding myself with a myriad of tiny, invisible, reinforcing fungi. Re healing myself. I'll take that one because we'll have one of everything. Okay, and there's prodigies and inscriptions, which my head is kind of in front of here. But there's a multitude, not a word I use easily, of different things, different ways you can build your characters. Uh, you are a worm nook. You are a yeek wayest of urk. All yeeks follow the way, which is both a global psionic link that unifies the whole yeek race and a way of life. Your whole life is dedicated to serving the yeek race. You feel compelled by the way to protect your race at all costs, even your own life. You've been tasked to vanquish Murgle, an abomination from the deeps, and to clear the rich the rich tunnels before their blight spreads to the whole island. Okay. So there is me. And this fella right here with, with the cool oh look at that guy. Uh, with the cool axe. Let me get reacquainted with some things here. Here's my inventory. Uh, I just have an axe. I've got a uh, uh, some male armor and I have a lantern in my hand. I got some eyeballs, is what's going on there. Um I'll talk about what all this stuff means in a minute. And here's all my abilities down down this way, like heal, uh, more heals. There's my bite. Uh, I, but to hit people, I just walk into folks, and I can sort of just walk around. This guy's got some sort of, some sort of shield surrounding him. He's a yeek mind slayer. But we'll see if we can find ourselves... Uh, I suppose we can go maybe talk to somebody. Um, we can look at him. Hey, buddy. You can see all the stats. This is on any creature. You can look at them, and you can see all their stats. Um, yes, we're like 
We're like little gremlins <laughs> who just who just suddenly got mad. <laughs> and so we're going to go out and <laughs> into the world and do some killing, I suppose. Uh, what do you There's a tailor, so I'm going to buy some stuff from you. Uh, what do you do over here? You have some sta staves and, and axes. Uh, let me look at my map. I can't remember my keys. Um, yeah. Are we going to the world map? We are in the world map. Is that where we need to go down there? Yeah, there's Murgle right down there. Okay, so right now we're, what? So we're, we're in, out of our home zone. There is Murgle down that way. I haven't been there yet. Let's do a, like a little bit of walking around. I can't walk in the, in the jungles here. And I suppose I should probably go straight there. If there's like some sort of like easy killing we can do, I'll, we'll do that. Just kind of explore the place a little bit. What is this? This is a tunnel to Majael. Minimum level 10. Yeah, we ain't gonna do that. What's this over here? There's a tunnel to, to the... Oh, there's the Riches Grounds. Uh, those are both 1 to 7. So I guess we'll go get... Do we get Murgle? Let's go... I think we want to go... Remove at least, at least one of these threats. You know what, Murgle? I hate you. And my furry little face is gonna is gonna take you out. Okay, so we've got some um, a diver over here. Let's go do some walking around. We got snakes down here. Okay. Let's go see what I can do. First, we're gonna smack. We're just gonna smack the uh, the snake and kill it. Do a little little walking around here. How dare you! I got inked. Ouch! This guy is tough, but he's got himself a shield on him. I'm going to see if I can... Let's do the wing buffet. See what it does. Okay, pushed him back for some a lot of damage. I'm going to go bite this guy. No, I didn't quite get him. Okay, almost got him. He's only got 19 hit points left. I can't even hit this guy. I'm missing him. I'll ice claw him then. Okay. I'll take his agate... I'm going to sit over here, and we're going to rest a minute, let my heal, my health get back up. I'm going to take a look around. Um, do I have a... Air decreases over time. If you run out of air, you will start losing life. Look for bubbles to recover air. Okay. Oh, I'm just, like, breathing these bubbles over here? All right. Okay. Let's go hang out by here and just get a little breath in us. Okay. Just <laughs> hold my breath. Oh, one of those guys again. Air bubble depleted. Okay. Now, uh, what what are you? A yeech dry uh diver. He's an ice ice claw as well. Alright, I can do an ice claw to him. He He's a little cute little guy. He ain't so tough. Uh I'm going to I'll ice. I'll uh, I'll claw him first. There we go. I got a good bite out of him. He's only got 18 hit points, and this thing does how much? A lot of damage. Oh, I got him, and I got some life. I hit him for for whatever. I killed him. I guess I wasn't down any, so it doesn't really matter. A little pin there. Hope I don't get pinned whenever I'm. Out of oxygen. Oh, these little jerks down here. All right, and like all you know, kind of like the roguelike style, you can uh, hit Z and sort of do this and sort of run around, auto auto explore. I am stuck. How long am I gonna be stuck here? There we go. Let me get a nice quick breath in there. Ooh, what's that? I got a linen cloak of Elderol. Elderol? Uh, all of the items in this game are procedurally generated. And one thing, I guess a special thing about this game is... I will wear that. You can, like... I said before where, it like, you, you build your characters and they can be completely different. Even, even the same character can be very different. Um, even the same class, I mean. And a lot of that plays into the the art the gear that you get, and so 
we'll find all kinds of different things. And I may build this guy thinking, okay, I'm going to go in with that bite attack. But because of the gear that I find, maybe I'll be like, uh, I don't know, some vampiric kind of guy based on all the, uh, the stuff that I have picked up here. Um, I am a two-handed guy because of my class. So I've got an iron battle axe here, which gives me, which I need 11 strength to use. And it is 14 at 21 base power. You need armor penetration, all that kind of stuff down there. Uh, I can hold control to, to compare it to whatever. I have this iron battle axe of erosion. Looks like I have a maul. It's even better. And there's a chance for lightning to strike from the target. And so that's, that's a good example of something. So we can go and use this iron maul lightning and maybe we can figure out like a light, we're maybe we'll end up with lightning as sort of our thing. Like, I think this is this is nothing like, like revolutionary, but I think it's something that all roguelike type things kind of like try to strive for. But this one seems to do it really well. Why do we hate Murgle again? Why don't we hate Murgle? Man, that guy. Let me, let me you know what. Let me tell you a story about Murgle. <clears throat> um. Try to see if I brought one <laughs> that, that, that lines up with that. Okay, this one... Uh, no, this doesn't work. <laughs> uh, so, there, there was there was this big fire uh, nearby on the, um, on the interstate here. And um, they're trying to figure out who who started... Who, they're trying to figure out who the arson... You know, the arson. And there's, there's one person they can remove from their list. Billy Joel. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I try to say it like... <laughs> he didn't start the fire. Okay, so we've, we've got some iron mail armor. Good strength. Armor plus four. Defense plus two. A little bit of fatigue. We've got this linen robe of frost, which gives me some resist stuff. Um, and uh, what's it do? Uh, just give me resistances. Ah, we don't need none of that nonsense. What is this, though? This is a surging elm staff of illumination. We got ourselves a new iron mace. Get out of here, octopus. I hate you almost as much as I hate Murgle on that dad joke. Dad joke from the old days. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> when do we get a part two? I need to get some breath here before I go... Explore around. Granddad, come on now. That's that's a low blow. Ooh, that's a bad place to end. Level up! Hot dog! Okay. Uh, level up is C. Okay, so... Uh, no, Yeah, that's me. Let's level myself up. Alright, again, same thing before. We've got new, new points to spend everywhere. And I think most of my stuff is... Like, that is focusing on will willpower. But I, th I would like to not die... And I'm whacking people with this with this hammer pretty heavily, so oh, lightning speed. I want to transform into pure lightning. I mean, that's too good. I don't know how good it is. It sounds really cool. I'm gonna do it because um, it sounds really cool. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a couple strength. I'm gonna take one willpower. I think. Increases my mana, stamina, and my psi capacity. And a lot of these, I think, are like this stuff is psi. I don't know. I'm just gonna take con. I just need hit points. And then my other thing over here, I'm gonna put into probably this wild growth, I suppose, just so we can get some fungus around us. That song came out in 1989. It wasn't that long ago. <clears throat> I'm blind. I'm hitting something. Um, oh, you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn into the lightning man. I'm going to get out of here. Take a little breath here because it's about to run out of oxygen. Hydrate. I mean, we're underwater already, but okay. I think I got inked by this guy. Oh, there's the stairs down. Oh, is that a belt? Good, I keep my keep my britches up. I'll wear those. Um, I found this iron mace. Is that better than what I've got? No, I don't get the lightning thing. It's less damage. This elm staff is no good. 
This erosion thing is no good. Um, so, when you first play this game, I'll talk about a couple things here too. When you first play this game, it's kind of standard. You go in there and you, you come into a dungeon, you get all this gear, and then you go to the town and you sell your stuff off, right? You know how it works. Um, but one thing that is, once you've played a few times, then you begin, it's like it's added in some of like the roguelite elements. After you played a few times, then you'll begin the game with this transmogrification chest. And so what it does is every time, as soon as I leave the dungeon, it's going to say, what do you want to keep? And so I click the things I want to keep. Everything else just automatically gets sold. I get the gold. It sort of saves that. Like, it's cool at the beginning, you know, because you're like looking at all this stuff. That's neat. But then you get kind of tired of it and you're like, you know, I've been through 50 dungeons. I don't need to go sell all my junk all the time. It simplifies that process. About the time you start to kind of get tired of doing that, you know, it does it for you. There's another one also that comes in here, which is uh, identifying items. You know, when, you, when it's early on, you're like, oh, what's that scroll? And you, you, know, you get to use your, go go to a merchant or whatever and figure out what these scrolls are. But after a while, you know, who cares anymore? And then it, and then you'll, you'll get an item that will auto-identify stuff for you just to kind of save that. And here's an example. So we're on target, target modification chest. Um, when I close the window, window, anything in my chest is going to go away. So if we want to keep it, we got to take it out. But I don't want any of that stuff. So it's all going to get sold immediately. Save me some cash. Or, not save me cash, but it'll make me some cash. Save me some time having to go back to the dungeon. Okay, let's go get a, uh, a breath. And then head on down this way. I may feel like I was five. In, uh, I, was, I was six in 89. I got knocked back. How dare you? I'm going to go in and... Uh, um, I'm going to do this thing to this guy. Take that, buddy. I'm going to whack you, and then I'm going to whack you again. So this is just for healing myself, right? A swallow. But it's cool. It's real cool. He left a mossy mind star of resolve. What is this? It's a weapon. It's like a psi weapon. Cool. And it gives me plus two will. My saves go up. My mind power goes up. My crit. Okay, so if I was going in like all mage-like and that would be the thing to do hey look a ring a ring of time I, mean, I might as well wear it why not got a new, a new belt to put on I probably should just throw this stuff on later on but this gives me some Lightning resist. Ooh, there's all the monsters. I'm going to use my... I should just learn my buttons. You know, ice claw those fellas. Ooh. Oh, wait till Murgle sees me coming. Oh, yeah? Uh, did I hit the wrong one? What did I just hit? I hit Dominant Will. Whoops. Dominate Will. Or Dominant. It is Dominant Will, isn't it? That's it. Another way down. Let's go check out this place. It's kind of tough. I, it, it, so I'm auto looking around. Doors to check out. We got Iron Shots of Accuracy. This is kind of a cool level. I've oh, I've never done this level before. Like typically, I've I always play as a dwarf, so I always get the dwarf start. We're in like you start out in a dungeon trying to like escape this dungeon with like you and your berserker buddy. Um, I've done the uh, the skeleton start is a cool one because you are you're basically a you're there's a necromancer who is who raised you and. I think you end up killing him. That, that's your job. Is you go find you go find the necromancer and kill him, and then you escape into the world. And once you get through this like intro quest, then you're sort of out there into the world. I'm gonna wear some gauntlets. Uh, oh, what I have? I, I had gloves of strength. Actually, might be a better one I have. The ones I'm wearing. Oh, these have life regen. 
I like life regen. Okay. Rough leather belts. Grounding is better. Zircons. Gotta find some more bubbles. You hanging out in the closet? This is like terror from the deep. Always aliens hanging out in the closet. Uh, Nahul books, Dungeon Master. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll be there. I have played I have played Hammer Watch one and two actually. Um, I don't think I want any of this stuff. So I'm gonna sell all of it. Okay, let's go get these guys. I don't know how many levels there are here. But I'm going to have to go ahead and level myself up. Now, this is the one, Shadow of the Mind of Victim, giving full control of its action for six turns. That's based on my willpower. That's kind of neat. I want to I wanna do see what that does for me. And I'll put a point in, in willpower. So that should go up as I get willpower. I don't know how much I need for it, though. Can you soothe the Nook Master for emotional suffering? But anyways, I, yeah, I got kind of sidetracked with my, my story there. So, um, yeah, so I know at Skeleton, you, you start out in a dungeon and you get to kill the Necromancer when you go out there. The, um, I think I played as an orc once. There's a whole different orc campaign as well. Um, why are Billy Jill's, <laughs> why are Billy Jill's clothes still wet? Because he didn't start the dryer. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay. Oh my guys, tear me. That's who are you? Why are you being so mean? You in my range? I'm gonna go hang out over here in this air bubble. Take that. Oh, I should have just like uh, should I should have eaten them. What is this? Iron Torque of Psionic Shield, Torque of Mind Blast. Let's go in here, I think. Increases all damage per set per penetration. Does that go? Yeah, it goes in my pocket. And this Psionic Shield one increases all damage per 10% for two turns. Yeah. Yeah, um. That's Murgle! Murgle! I was wondering why you were doing cool things. Uh, I should I should be careful. If I am lightning speed, provides damage resistance, lightning resistance. It doesn't change. Like I should hit this, and then I want to go and I want to, I want to wing buff at this fella. Yeah. And then, am I still lightning speed? No. I'm going to turn on my meditation, my wild infusion, so that I have some pain suppression and some healing coming on here. I also have some... The more you use infusions, the longer they will take to recharge. I'm going to ice claw this fella. Take that. Do we know Do we know anything about you? You're small. You got a little jerk face. That's about all we know. Okay. Some psi abilities. Uh, dominant will, I can try it. He's immune to that. Of course he is. I'm not going to bite the guy. I'll bite him in a minute. I'm a little off balance. What do these things do for me? Increase all damage penetration. Yeah, do that one. Getting a little hurt. Let's go ahead and hit the heal. Regen. Ice Claw is available. How many how points has he got? 58. We're gonna we're gonna ice claw him. Take that. I'm feeling good. I'm gonna bite his little face. Excellent. Okay. Explored the underwater zone and vanquished Murgle. Okay. Um find a way to Maje all through the tunnel north of the island. Okay, we saw that one. What do we get? We get a rod of recall. It takes us back. To wherever and a summer tide file crystal file that captures sunlight during the summer tide okay okay and that recall thing will just take me out of here <laughs> yeah Murgle is just the worst 
Is there anyone worse than Murgle? Not anymore. <laughs> Ooh, a shield. Iron shield of acid resistance. Well, I got two-handed stuff, so. I suppose we can keep on doing this. I need to keep doing this to get some levels, so we'll keep... Alright, what are you, like, Murgle's friend or something? Ow. Ow. Stop that. Can I blast... Blast you back. Kill this dang octopus. I'm stuck. I'm gonna hang out here for a minute. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dominate, dominant will. Did it work? His mind is shattered. Is he still back a bad dude? He seems to be chasing me around. Yeah, and then, he, and then he just dies. Ah, oh, it's nice. Okay, so I got some iron armor here. I'm wearing a uh, mail. I picked up some. Use call light, dispelling darkness, and lightning tiles and a razor too. When attacking a melee, it deals 15 damage. This is this is a. Can I wear this thing right now? Where does it go? Oh, it goes down there instead of instead of my torque of shield. Okay, that's fine. This is boring armor. I don't care about it so much. I want something that's going to do something. Something that's going to be like good. Well, actually, the stuff I have is boring too. It doesn't have the defense, but it has the armor. Ah, I'll wear it. Did I wear it? Um, oh, I'm missing something. I'm missing strength. Never mind. I've played this... i played this game multiple times on my channel. It's been actually a long time, though. And... I've, I never... I've never done anything longer than like a 30 minute video of it. Uh, make sure we get this music in here, it's exciting. Now oh, I'm blind again. Just wanna kinda clear this place out and get some get some some experience. And some loot. Mossy Mine Star. That guy down. No bubbles over here. What is that? Take your axe, your war axe of persecution. Sounds like a friendly item. Okay. And I think... I think that's about it. I'll hang out by these bubbles for a minute. Uh, tab? Yeah, I think we got everything covered. Okay, let's, let's get out of here. Uh, I'm not keeping any of this stuff. I don't think... Gloves of strength in my gloves... Um, can I put that? I can't put that there. No, that's not, that's not one of those kind of things. I'm going to save that. I don't want to get that in transmogrified. Uh, but I'm going to get out of here. How does it take? There we go. Okay, so I don't want to put that in there. And we got a rune of psychic. Instantly display the energy of your ailments, cleansing all cross tier. Yeah, keep that. Okay. Um, I don't, I don't know. Um, is there breaking down items from materials or crafting at all? I don't. Th I now you say that. I don't. I don't know. I feel like maybe there is, but then you get the whole transmogrifying thing, so maybe not. I don't know. Um, it wants me to go here, but that's going to be... I'm not that level yet. I'm only level 5. So I'm going to run down into the um, the sandworm pit here. 
Feel bad for Murgle now. Poor guy was just chilling in his underwater lair, and Wormlook came over unannounced to kill his guests and take his loot. Well, you know what? He deserved every bit of it. Oh, I'm in like a spider cave. There's spaghetti in here. Great Mall of Erosion. I think this will be probably pretty easy to do. Plus, there's no having to uh, having to breathe in here. What's hitting me? I guess I got some range. Stop it! I guess I got some range on him. Ooh, level up! Okay. Well, I'm stuck. Let's level up. <clears throat> there are classes that can do that in the Alchemist in Alchemist quest too. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. There's so yeah, it's maybe a class basic, a class specific thing. I so I feel like I've played one where I did something like that, where I like melded something into me, or something. It's been a long time. Uh, so I got a new one. I can do quake. Slam the ground, shaking the area around you in a radius of two. Creatures caught in the quake will be damaged for a bunch of weapon damage and knocked back. Is there any like passive thing? Icy skin is sustained. Um, I think oh, I got a big, it's a big level up. Did I do two levels up to not realize it? Now, if this is what's that one? Belling roar. Send people into confusion. Um. Each point in Cold Drake talents also increase, which is which is this is Cold Drake here. Is this? I'm gonna take this one. Is this an active thing? It says it says sustained. I'm not sure how long it lasts. I'll do some more ice claw thing. Then we'll we'll focus on the ice claw stuff. Static field. That's cool. Let's ice claw some folks. And. Hey, Neelids. Thanks for pointing me towards the remake of Dungeon Keep the other day. That video, um, that video did really well. YouTube seemed to like that video. Thanks, YouTube. Oh, I need two more, two more, um, willpower would bring that one up. I'll go ahead and put a couple points in the willpower. And I'll unlock that one, and I'll put a couple more in the strength. Which allows me to wear some, wear some heavy armor training. Accuracy of unarmed, melee, and ranged. Make sure touch, touch a target or yourself and infuse it with nature, healing it for stuff. Um, yeah, I'll heal myself. Sustained or permanent, but reduce your maximum value for their resource. Okay. I'll keep a heal on me. Nice to have a heal around, just in case. There's some fungal growth, which is like a regen. Like a toggle, okay. So should I just leave it on? Is there any reason to not have it on? Each point increases your cold resistance by one percent. It doesn't seem like it's a bad thing. Oh yeah, I'm stuck. Oh, you can also click around and move. If clicking is your thing. Just keep on sticking me in here. I'm gonna turn it on. And then let me go over here. Ouch. It gets working. Have I always streamed on YouTube or since the recent Twitch changes? Yeah, I um for two almost exactly almost exactly two years actually. I um I ran away and, and I just did streaming on Twitch. Basically what I do, like I, this is my like recording time. And so I just switched over and just figured, well, you know, I'm recording anyway. I might as well sit here and do it live because it's fun. And, um, and I did that on Twitch because Twitch just had the better, the better, um, streaming stuff, you know, they're, they're built for it. And, um, among other things, but, um, 
I switched over a w back then, and then with the new changes, we can now stream um, both. So I'm back. Um, let's see that one. So it's going to be about the same as everything else. It's a little more, a little bit hits a little harder, but there's a chance of the lightning strike. That sounds exciting. I'll keep that around. Uh, do I? I don't even have a hat, so I'll put this hat on. Rough leather armor. I'm going to lose the armor. I'll gain a defense, and I'll lose the fatigue. Integrating Elm Totem. Use the sting an enemy dealing on make nature damage over seven turns and reducing their healing. This is a this is a. Where's it go? Down there. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. We got all kinds of stuff down here. Yeah, everything else is gonna go though. I'm mostly trying to get to if I can get to like level ten down here, then I'll be then I'll be good. I think. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Wolf. I can't move for for a few more turns. Uh, okay. Uh, let's do some of that. And some of that. Can I move yet? Three more turns. Um, oh, what's the, this one? Is this a, it's a, I'm going to hit that guy. I think it works because he just disappeared. I'm going to eat. Uh, no, I'm not. Man, I found the party. Let me turn on my... Use to sting an enemy. I'll sting that guy. And then... I can move now. Good, good, good. Okay. What a rough place to be standing. Let me turn on my regeneration. Okay. I'm not sure I need that heal. I take it back. I might need that heal. Uh, what's that one do? Yeah, me. You knock it off! There's so many of them. Man, I'm glad I didn't go to this place first. Okay, that guy's about to die. I'm gonna hit him with my bite. Let me go get me some health. I don't feel so good. Heal. And... This guy's level 7. Knock it off! Man, tough dungeon. Another game you can play for free. Oh, <laughs> World of Warcraft. Yeah. I oh, know, I, I should play EVE Online tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I kind of wish. So I've switched over to you. I, I stream on YouTube as well. Um, now I kind of wish there was a way I could turn off notifications though, because I know it's kind of like I don't want to like over like I I'd rather the videos get watched, not necessarily the stream over on YouTube. Um, I don't think there's a way of doing that. I want to overload everyone on notifications. Um, let me heal myself again and. I'm going to hit this thing, and I'm going to run up here on this guy. Ooh, super speed! Nice, that's cool. First time I actually used that right. Okay, there's another way down. More ooze over there. Yeah, just stay alive all the time. Yeah. That's how you make the big bucks on, on uh, streaming. You need to get in that, in that like, sleeping stream business. That's what I need to be doing. That's how you make the money. Just turn it on, take a nap, profit. So if I put on the hat, the wizard hat, it's cooler looking, first off. I gain the defense, I lose armor, I, uh, oh, I lose three decks. I don't want that. Uh, but I gain nature pointiness or percentageness in a pointy hat. Um, 
Oh, no, that one has the... Yeah, I gotta keep the other one. Just make sure the finger look great. Oh, I can dig. I'll keep that. Even let them me. I had a second job for eight hours a day after I got home from my regular job. <laughs> I, um... I played Eve quite a bit, um, you know, 15 years ago or something like that, and I, I got to the point where I didn't really play Eve, I just played the um, the market, and I, got to, I'm, I know I've told this story before, but I, I got to the point where I, um, I, I would just play the market, so I had like a couple different characters and I would just buy and sell things, and... And I was like, you know, I wish I could just do this in real life. Because cause I was pretty good at it in EVE Online. I need to find a place I can do this in real life. And lo and behold, there is a place you can do that called eBay. And so for the next 10 years, I had an eBay store. And that was my business. That was my uh, job. Um, I want... I don't want really to use that one very much. I guess I've been using the heal, but I don't have enough willpower for it. Let me put a couple points in willpower. And I'm going to put another point into this icy skin. See if it keeps me alive. And I'll put one in strength. Yeah. I made a ton of money. I made enough money where I could, like... I could... This is this is when Plex was... They had, they had just, like, started doing Plex. So you could play for... You could basically pay to play, you know? You can use in-game money to... To pay for a month of game time. And... I was making enough money, I could have, every month I could have played for free. Uh, and I, I did. Right, right, I made ISK. You're right, 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 I made ISK. I didn't make real money, I made EVE money. But I made EVE money and turned that into real money on eBay. <laughs> I went and I was like, so I, I gotta find something, like, I got this down, I know how to work, work this in EVE. And EVE's a kind of like, real world market kind of thing, you know? And um, so I watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos on um, people doing like eBay. And found kind of found found a thing. Worked really well. I kind of miss it sometimes. I just went. I used to go in like like thrift stores and and garage sales or whatever, and um, buy like um, clothes and and sell clothes. Clothes is what I seem. Like. I'm not a clothes person at all, but. Um, Somehow I found that that niche. Is it you something? Fa you oh yeah, you're the mother. Um, I, f I found my thing with that, and um, I ended up I, that was that was my job basically was just doing that. Me and my wife, and I, m I miss it sometimes going to like um, thrift stores and and shopping all day for clothes that I will never wear, but people like to buy. Okay, the mother is dead. Ooh, the mother left behind a fancy sword. That looks like a nice looking sword. Uh, skull cleaver, it's called. Small, sharp axe. That's not very fancy. It looked like a fancier sword than that. Um, is it two handed? It's a war axe. It's better than what I got, though. I don't have a lightning thing, but it's, it's a little more damage. It's got a Crit chance. Better armor penetration. Better crit chance, of course. I think I'm going to take it. I can't tell if it's two-handed or one. Oh, it has lifesteal, too. And goons. Oh, yeah, goons. I went out, um, you need to, <laughs> sorry, I missed a little bit of chat. I missed a little bit of chat and my, my, I gotta find a new bot. My restream bot is just bad. It doesn't, it doesn't show me everything. So if you're on YouTube and you're, I apologize if I'm missing you. I'm, I promise I'm trying to see it, but it, it doesn't show everything. Um. Eve showed me the way. Yes, yes. Uh, 
Oh, Skull, do you have your name on that thing? Nice. Well, um, I, I may be, I may be finding my name on that. I'm excited about that because my, oops, um, my name is on that thing as well. And, um, I may be, I may be seeing it before too long. And I'll, if I'll go find your name too, if you send, send me, I'll, I'll go find it. Um, but yeah, I, 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 that was around the end of me playing. And in fact, I had already quit. I already canceled my account whenever they did that thing. They're like making that, making that thing. And, um, I had canceled already, but, uh, but they were like, Hey, put your name on a statue in Reykjavik. I was like, okay, i uh, sign me back up for one more month. And apparently it just got like re uh, redone. Keep that. Oh, no, not. Oh, I thought I was leaving. Okay, so I want to. Oh, hey, here we go. Sorry, all this eBay talk got me. My name back then was uh, Tidarium, like the shuttle. Which is very nearly my YouTube channel name. Ah, see, looks a little, uh, my favorite roguelike. People make a lot of money selling name man, name name brand clothing. Yeah, um, that was that was my thing. I sold like Ralph Lauren and Lacoste. You know the um, Nike, even even Nike and stuff like that was was the thing. This is previous level. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, I am gonna keep that and that. And I think that's it. <clears throat> I still only hit level eight though. Am I supposed to hit level ten? I killed everything. Do I need to go anywhere? It's just find the way to Majeal. I mean that's it. We know where it is. This is minimum level ten. I ain't ten. I can go back into town and see if they've got anything for me. I don't think they do, though. I'm kind of stuck here. I can't go through the jungles. Let's stop in here for a minute. I don't think there's anything to do in here. We've got our buddies here with their shields or whatever. These guys are just going to buy and sell stuff, which I've already done that. So, um... Maybe if you think it's actually kind of nice here, but I'm here to I'm here to kill things. Anybody else want to say something to me? What am I supposed to do with these? Oh, I can wield these. I can oh I can imbue them in in objects. Okay, there we go. There's that's how we do that kind of stuff. Okay. Okay. Uh, get me out of here. <clears throat> okay, so I think we're, we had like a tunnel here. Take us. Find a way, done. This will take us to Majeal to, to out of the ba the baby land. Uh, research log of, of a halfling mage Hompelon. We, we hate halflings. Subject Z is doing well. We completed numerous further transitions with him. Capable, uh, capable of intelligent dialogue at times, his species is fairly limited in intellect. Seems to have little real clue what's going on and always asking what time it is. What a fool. Conjecture the humans are far too tall to have blood pumped all the way to their brains. Still, I dare not risk sending any halflings through the portal yet. What humans have I sent have sent through it all died? Subject Z has magical powers. Is he talking about me? He's vanished. This is terrible. Wasn't even during a portal transit. He simply stepped into his own shadow and disappeared. Research is ruined. There'll never be another one like him. The military annoying me to no end. Told them to find me more test subjects immediately. I think he's talking about me. As approach, you come upon another wayist and receive a very clear mental message. Run away. This is apparently an intense fight. What else am I supposed to do, though? Um... Is he? He's level 17. That's, oh, that's subject Z. Oh, okay. That wasn't me. 
That wasn't me. How am I supposed to take this? I... I'm level eight. I changed my mind. Because he was in there fighting something. The old halfling ruins here. Oh, am I am I here? I just walked. Oh, look at that. Okay. Welcome to the world. Where are we at here? The time of Zeger? Let's go there. Only some classes use gemstones. You will not talk about Zeger to the wider world, lest evil ears be listening. Shun the use of all spells and witchcraft. These are the rules we live by. This is the way. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Buy and, buy and sell and stuff. You got some pretty cool things. This is like the, um, the arena. Grim Fighter stands there, clad in male armor and a large olive cloak. He doesn't appear hostile, his sword sheathed. Brother, our guild's been watching you and we believe that you have potential. Look at my eyes. <laughs> we see that the hermetic arts have always been at the root of each and every trial this land has endured. And we also see that one day they'll bring about our destruction. We decided to take action by calling upon nature to help us combat those who wield the arcane. We can train you, but you need to prove you're pure. Untouched by the Eldritch forces and ready to fight them at the to the end. This, doing this will prevent me from using spells or items powered by arcane forces. In, in exchange, I'll be given access to a mind power based generic talent tree. Anti magic. I'm I'm interested. Just a, just a minute. Let me look at this real quick. Wrong one. Um. So that's that's gonna be. Oh, I have points to spend. Um, are these magic? I don't know if these count as magic. Yeah, yeek. Yeek is what I am. I'm pretty sure these are all... I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't want to do that. But it would give me... Something special over here. But these are definitely magic. So yeah, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I want... I'm a naturalist. It makes me sound like I'm... Walking around naked. Increase the weapon damage by by a bit. When I'm using swords, axes, or maces, I'm using an axe. So I'm going to go on a point of that. And I think I like this icy skin. Increases my life and my armor. And also deal damage to enemies that physically strike me. That seems pretty cool. Wild abilities are nature, not magic. All these are nature, not magic? Like all these things, like this wild gift as well. These are, it should say arcane, right? I don't see where it says any of that. Magic for me would come from runes and magical items. Viable with my character. I think I should do it. My power is a natural gift. What else is, is there? More options? We be given the access to a mind power based generic talent tree. Anti magic. We able to unlock hidden properties and many arcane disrupting items. Yeah, I'll face the challenge. Uh, let me add it. Seem here, but maybe too young. Come back when you have grown a bit. I'll go all that. For you to tell me no. Halfling woman stands before you, clad in dark steel plate. Take the test and we can talk. Uh, what does that mean? I'm assuming it means something over here. This looks like an arena. I'm looking for Mind Star training. I can teach you Mind Star mastery. Learning the basics costs 100 gold, and more intensive stuff costs 500. Once you're proficient, I can teach you some additional skills for 750. Okay, I guess I don't have many. How much money do I have? Hmm, I don't know. Hmm. Books? Huh. 
that this this guy uh, she's a hard fight or this guy's a hard fight Hold on, upper left corner oh that oh I got 57 bucks that's it okay okay well let's get out of here dumb town anyway We don't actually have a, uh, a quest just yet. So we'll wander around here and see if we can find something to go cruise around in. Um, oh, arena. Okay, arena fight to learn the anti magic. Okay, that makes sense. So we gotta take her out and then we can learn it. Okay. Human patrol, the Allied Kingdoms, I think we're fine with them. Humans out here hanging around. What's that? Path to the old forest. Minimum level seven. Hey, that's that's my style. I'm gonna go back to I'd be level ten. Okay. Spooky. Oh, there's bears out here. Well, who are they? They, they? Where'd they come from? Where do they go? Misty's surrounding this ancient race are almost infinite. What little scraps of information we regarding them allude to a mighty and world-spanning civilization. Building power and magic unthinkable. All remains of them are forgotten. Went some ruins. My quest has drawn me to the old forest. What is there is said to be, uh, be about a place like the old forest. It's a forest, but it's old. It's old. Um, rumors are growing of a tree, trees roaming in its depths, moving as you or I would. Some even claim they now possess a spark of sentience. Share tool was rumored to hold the power of animism. Druid, huh? More, more spaghetti. What are these things? Worms. Oh. Okay. Poison bears. What is that? That is poison. Let me infusion and then regen. Ow. Ow. It dang flies. Oh, uh, yeah. Open it. Ah. Level 20. Let me do this uh, this thing. And then I want to infusion myself. Like, oh, let's do regeneration. Some cave bears. Yeah, I'm sure there's easier zones I could find out here somewhere. Ouch. Coming this way. Hey, new boots. What do I got? Iron boots of speed. What am I wearing right now? I got no boots. Put those things on. Okay, what goes in that spot? Copper ring of corrosion. That seems all right. I lose, I lose defense. What am I wearing right now? I'm wearing this rogue one. Can I go there? Yeah. That one up top there was hitting me with, with the with the poison. Yeah. A thief. Bite him and take his money. There's the way further into the forest. Let's grab this sling, though. That guy over there, I see him. Hey, 
That poison's nasty. There's a treant. And Tear the Red Crystal are rare. Okay, let's get you. I'm unable to move. I'm dazed. She's spitting things at me. I'm going to hit you with the wing thing. Gotcha. What's that you dropped? You dropped a Ash Longbow with a name. Okay. I don't want to hit Z here because I want to make sure I'm not like jumping into something I don't want to. I don't want to see. It'll pause me, but just in case. Look at this guy right there. Is that another one? He's not rare, though. Uh, normal difficulty. I'm on adventure mode. This guy, what's he at? He's at negative 311 health. Huh. I'm not sure what that means. His mind is shattered. Good. I'm gonna heal myself. Ouch! Hit, yeah. Freeze that guy. Do that thing. Regen. I found a scalpel. Uh, when he was learning the necromatic necromantic arts in the age of dusk. Okay, sounds like a nice thing. Okay, let's level up. Good. I need it. That's that's the question. Uh, who, who that's Yamo? How's it going? I think I might need more more regen. Gain more. Oh, that is a passive one. Just gain more life and three life regen. You know, let's just put it into there. Just keep the life re regen going. I can't put any more of that because I need two more willpower to do that. I guess I could do it and give him more more life and armor. Cold damage resist thing. Let's go with it. And strength. Ah, Alona Plus. Man, so many people love Alona Plus. I get um every every free games month that one gets that one gets brought up. And that one is man, that one is I don't know what to say about Alona, but it is it is a game. And it is it is an interesting one. Um let me do uh, some of that. Poison hurts a lot. I'm getting whooped here. Okay, feeling better. Where do you keep coming from? Oh, I see. I'm going to hit you with this one. Oh, 
of balance. Why is he just sitting there like that? Mine is shattered. Okay. <sighs> it's a. <laughs> I don't know. What, I don't know what to say about Alona. Getting killed by thrown bottles for playing in a tavern. In a tavern, poor music skills and Alona is something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a yeah. That happens. Um. It's a crazy game. I can see. I can see the allure. Um, I've played a bit of it. I played it. Was it last year? Two years ago? I played a, like a stream of it, and it's yeah. It's, I, I it is a good game. I like it. Um, and it's one of those that probably if you're like a Space Station thirteen fan, you're probably an Alona fan. I think it's it's in that sort of like crazy roguelike category. I think probably probably fits that. Oh no! I died. No. Oh, the blink of an eye, I've been yanked to go talk with the Eidolon. Oh, man. Uh, hey, buddy. Before me stands a humanoid shape filled with nothing. It seems to stare at you. I brought you here with the instant, on the instant of your death. I am the Eidolon. I need you worthy of my interest. I'll follow your future steps. Um, I'm ready to go back. I'm weary of this life. I wish no more. Let me go. Um, no, I'm, I'm ready. Give me, send me back in there. Okay. Who's this guy? Oh, he's an elite. He's a worm that walks is his name. I'm going to hit the uh, the lightning thing, and I'm going to get... I can't really go where I want to go. Ah, uh, I don't want to be here. I'm going to die again. Um, hmm. Yeah, I should have gone somewhere else. I didn't wasn't expecting 20, level 25 worms all over the place. Uh, I don't have... I can, like, hit a bunch of worms. I'm gonna kill a bunch of them. I'm gonna, um... Heal. Didn't do me much good. I'm gonna bite. Okay, <laughs> got some health and I died again. Hey, it's me again! I fear I won't survive anyway. Can you send me back somewhere else, please? Thanks. Thanks. I couldn't run away. All right. Well, you know that was a that was a dumb forest anyway. Oh, I want to go there anyway. A dumb place. What we got over here? Little town, Dearth Town, and we've got a uh, ruins of Kurpul. That's more like it. I could I could run through here real easy. Um, I'll keep this infusion. I should probably use those. Oh, uh, is there anything good in here? That's the one I had before. Is that the one I had before? I think it is. There's this scalpel I picked up, which is pretty neat, but not what I want. Cool longbow. There's a frosty hat. And I think that's it. These all should be like, yeah, real easy. Be able to roll through here pretty quick. But give me some experience. I can survive against those uh, those angry worms. I say that. Uh, turn that on, please. Regen. Do that thing. What are you doing over here? Also get a little cash. Exciting music. Um whose experiments? Why in the blackest night did I ever agree to take part in them? Because I was broke. Should have sold on eBay. Uh, I think I may have been may have considered things differently had I known I'd transported without my clothes, though. Imagine my embarrassment throwing up in a foreign lane with my unmentionables on display. I bought a robe from somebody.
Kill some. I haven't seen it. What do we got? Amratine. Found the accursed play uh, undeg that plague the nefarious dungeon. Skeletal fools. Thank thankfully no match for me. I hope that I had no arms. I hope that he had no arms. I found myself an old shield in spite of a few dents. Some seem serviceable enough. Some of the rats are big. Okay. Diamonds are my favorite, so sparkly. Ooh, radiant gloves of strength might be good. My gloves aren't all that great. All that great. Because they do have life regen. These do not. But it gives me plus three strength, and that seems way better. I get an unarmed attack talent. I don't care about that. Yeah, it's turn base. I'm hitting. So when I'm zooming around there, I'm, it's a, I know it's a little bit like disorienting, probably to watch that. Um, but it. Oh, they're all teleporty, huh? Um, ooh. like um, most world likes, I suppose have have like sort of the auto auto explore thing. That's what I'm doing. hurts. Okay, next level. Uh, how much is dexterity? Does that mean any, any good? I, um... The one I have is... Is three dex? It is. This is a cool hat. I lose the dexterity. I gain armor. I... Gain. No. Only die when reaching minus 20 life. Now that's a hat. <laughs> so I go to negative life? Gives me a life radius? Oh, yeah, I gotta put that on. That on. This one's probably a little better, but. Um. Escort lost a filer. Help me, I'm afraid I lost myself in this place. Um, I know there's a recall portal left around here but by my friend, but I have fought too many battles, I fear I'll not make it. Will you help me? I can say, sure, I'll help you. I can say, pretend to help, but when it's time to use a technique that makes a portal fizzle, narrow in, the loss of fire will be sent to Zeger to be dealt with properly. Oh, because you're... A oh. Because you're like a... Okay. Um... No, no, Wormlook isn't that kind of guy. I'm not that kind of guy. Did you know that um, that algebra? This is completely on say on the topic here. That algebra was really easy for uh, for the Romans, the ancient Romans, and the reason was because back then x always equaled ten. Lead on. Is she gonna follow me now? She's just gonna stand there. Okay. She heard that joke. She's like, I don't think so. Core pull, core pull. Isn't core pull the thing to the south we just saw? Farmer told me though, oh, this place is called. It reminded me of something. I think it's coming back to me now. My mother used to tell me a story about our ancestors. They fled by ship to escape the grasp of an evil sorcerer who dominated the lands. A vile necromancer who made took advantage of the destruction of the spell blaze from the spell blaze, created huge armies of undead. People fought against them time to time. Would be defeated, but still would come back. Sometimes after hundreds of years. His name was Core Pull. Just a coincidence, I'm sure. Place is infested. Lots of skeletons around here. What are you doing, you idiot? Oh, she found it. Okay, okay. Thanks. Uh, I can have magic by five, cunning by five. Learn the talent Curse of Death. Allow training of talent category Corruption Curses. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, okay, this is Corporal. Okay. Ooh, fancy hat. Boring hat. 
more closet snakes. No problem. I like these baby dungeons. I should stick with these more often. That's a freaky rat. That's the rat he was talking about, isn't it? Crystal rat. Let me uh, let me do that. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm here from experience, so we'll do some of that, and then we'll head out of here. Um, and a pickaxe of endurance. I mean, I'll keep that one. I didn't mean to wield it. Um, it's probably fine. Great Maul returns my fire. That one also. That's the that's the old one I had. I have all this stuff still, don't I? Yeah. Keep that hat in case I decide it's really good. Um. We're just our healing. We're just fatigue for two turns. I think they like the damage. Per that might be better to have. Can I have that one instead of? I don't need a pickaxe. Freaky. Open the chest. Yeah, what is it? Skeletons in the chest. Oh, man. Oh, I can't see nothing. I'm probably dying now. No, I'm not. I'm fine. Oh, he was the other way. Uh, that's a wizard hat. What's that do for me? Plus one defense. I got this pretty cool hat, though. I don't know if it's going to be any better. The whole... I gain maximum hate with this thing. I'm not going to stay with one I got. I noticed it just said connected online. This has an online thing. I think it's just for, like, sharing, like, your stats or whatever. I think it's what it does. If anyone knows any better, let me know. There he is. Right down here in dark, very dark. I suppose I should have brought a lantern. I'm not cut out for this paladin work. Hey, Nergo. Hey, Dutchie. Ah, you froze me. What'd you go and do that for? Who's this? You're the boss man, huh? You're just out of range. Uh, let me turn my heel on. Oh. And then I'll. I'm just gonna. Oh wait, wait. This this one does the yeah. He froze me again. Can I bite him? Yeah, I can. Okay, level 10. Uh, some coral plates. Oh, that's... Is this the first... This is, certainly this isn't the first time I've hit level 10. I guess it is. Well, put that achievement number 7 of 1748. <laughs> hey, Dante Wheeler. Thanks, Dante Wheeler. Stay for the dad jokes. Well, you, good thing you weren't here a minute ago because it wasn't a very good one. I try to have, you know, like a um, some sort of a, a certain level, you know, I try to hit, but didn't hit it this time. So this is, when do I get this? Oh, I had to magic before I can do, this is the one I just unlocked, this corruption. Curses my target. Ah, okay, okay. Let me do, I was going to do this passive one. I think this is probably the best. Oh, never mind. Um, I do have a category point. Where do I, I put that in? 
I've got to put in one of these. Standard, standard what? Oh, oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I have a standard in dad jokes. <laughs> let me, let me take a couple of these, some health. Do I have an inscription I can do? Two new slots, we should buy one for a category point. Yeah. Oh, did I buy a class? What did I just do with that? Your trees are from escorts. These are not worth it since you have to unlock them with a category point. Okay. I see. Um, I never do that because it's active. I like I like passive things. I don't think about them too much. I am doing a lot of like I don't do as much of the bite, but I'm doing a lot of the ice claw. And that's probably good to have some damage there. The wing buffet also might be pretty handy. Static field. Creature caught inside will lose some of its life. Um. Increases with my mind power. Let's do some acid spray. I got two of these. That's shield. I don't have a shield. I'm just going to buff up some of these. I'll buff up my bite. You look cool. the ability to auto cast much I haven't messed with it but it might help keep my building I don't I don't know how to use it auto use when enemies are visible hmm. when enemies are visible and adjacent use it It means it'll, no, I don't think I want that because that means it'll trigger as soon as they get walk out right up to me. I don't want that. But like whenever they're uh, visible, sure. Let's see what that does. I'll try it. I haven't messed with this at all. Um, can I do it with like ice claw? Can I when enemies are visible and adjacent? I don't think I want to do that, but that's interesting. I'm fine with that one going on because it's just when I see him. No big deal. Let's try it. My way out of this place. So did it do it? It did do it. Okay. Big bad worm, or whatever that is. How many turns does that last for? Okay, so yeah, it kind of kicks the regen in. It might be, it might not be a bad, better, it might not be a good idea because as soon as I see him, it's gonna run out. Um, in hard dungeon, it, it, using it might turn out not so great. Yeah. So I can see it. I can see it being. Uh, Useful. I'm also seeing it not being useful. Am I, did I, did I, am I done with this dungeon? I think I'm done. There's no way down here.
This is what? This is a shield. Totem of healing. Heal myself and everyone in, in nearby. There's that cool hat. Give me spell power and all that. A named cloak here. I lose cunning and dexterity, but I gain like defense and mana and spell power. I don't use mana like that. Um, cool. I don't know if it's worth it. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yanked out of this place. So that was the guy we tried to kill there. Uh, we've got the troll mire over here, and there's dearth a town. Is that like a um? Let's see what's going on here. Is this a, a friendly town? Doesn't sound like it. You friendly halfling gardener? Yeah, okay. What do you want? Um, you look like a promising warrior indeed. Uh, I have an offer, Yeek. You see, I'm an agent for the arena. I look for promising warriors that can provide a good show for our audience. Perhaps you're strong enough to join. All you need to do is beat three of my men in battle and you shall be rewarded. I am strong. Wealth and glory. I'm ready. Let's go. I think I've done this fight before. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. I think I've done the fight before, and I think I've lost this fight before. Okay, defeat three enemies. Okay, we got a little halfling here who's going to push me around like a jerk. I'm going to uh, uh, dodge his bullet, I guess. And I'm going to lightning my way up to this guy. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna blast him. Didn't take any damage. I'm going to claw him. There we go. He's scared now. Ouch. Bite. Oh, he's so quick. Hey, buddy. Let's see what you got. Nothing. Oh, beat him. Ah, nom, 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 nom. Okay, travel back to Dearth. In company for the rogue, you discuss your battles in the forest. He provides you with a great insight on your combat technique, plus two generic talent points. Well done, he says. All right. Give me that money. Uh, what do you got? Some rogues? I need those. Um, I missed a comment a long time from Dante. Do you play games with your subscribers? I tried to play games with my subscribers today, but I did a bad job of it. So sometimes, um, typically on, I have two, I have two like big days, big streaming days where like, um, I have, I have the, uh, my, my YouTube anniversary day, which is on end of August, uh, 20, uh, not 20, a 12 hour stream end of August. And I usually play things with, with folks. And um, the other one is coming up, New Year's Eve. But I won't be here this New Year's Eve, so it's going to be like New Year's Eve. Eve something like it's going to be a few days before New Year's Eve uh, this year. And we'll play some things together. I tried to play a game called Slipstream today, but it didn't work. It's cold out here. Um, I'm level 11 now. I might be able to go back to that place where I died before and see if I can handle it. Can I Z around here? Oh, I can. Level 43. Some ancient elven ruins. Mysterious hole in the beach. And we have a Ziggurath patrol. Hostile humanoids. Faction of Ziggur. They're hostile humanoids, but they are... 
Nothing to fear if you're not using filthy arcane magic, they say. Okay. Well, I'm not using it either. Let's go down to this in this hole here. Which is what level was that? I think that was my level. Yeah, 716. That's my level right there. Have I ever beat it? No, I have not. And I've got like these are invulnerable sandworms. Am I in a bad place? Um, I've got like seven of the 1700 achievements. Sandworm burrower. I feel like maybe I shouldn't be here. Are they mean sandworms? They dig tunnels, that's how you move around. Oh, look at that. Oh, I've never been down. That's neat. Okay. Yeah, dig, buddy. Dig. Weird. Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on. Okay. Kill some things. Um, meditation. Mental save gives me a bunch of little boosts. Uh, this one gives me damage penetration. This one gives me all damage. What have I got? A couple. I got a gelatinous cube over there. I'm going to try to control this ooze. Did it work? His ooze mind is shattered. I'm going to wait a minute. Ouch. Um. I'm going to bite this guy next to me. I got him. I don't feel real good. Call light. I have things I can use. I've got a regen infusion. I don't care about it. I do have a... Don't I have a heal? Like a, like a proper heal? Guess not. I don't feel real good. I'm a little paranoid at the moment as well. Heal on one. Yeah, okay, that's what I'm thinking of. Um, instantly, that's what I'm looking for. I'm going to get stuck in, the, uh, in, in there again. Okay, four. I'm going to eat this guy. No, 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 no. Okay, three. Whew. Um, yeah, let's go down here. What's a Lyra? It is a random jewelry. Ooh, that's nice. Physical saves, spell saves, mind power, jump back four grids from your target, spring you over any creatures in your way. Hey, where is that? Lose that dumb ring, that's great. Steel War Axe of Massacre. Some cool boots. Quick wet reflexes like to anticipate attacks against you, granting you a 40% chance to evade melee for four turns. I'll wear those cool new boots too. Look at all this junk I got on the bottom of my screen. I'll keep that. Hey, Bob. Under level for this place. You know, you can say that again. What is that? Gigantic sandworm tunneler. Are you a, a mean one? I think it's a mean one. Oh, he ain't so bad. So strange. Pulling worms around. I am Worm Nook. Open that chest. Why are there always oozes in these chests? I'm gonna die because he's gonna like whack me here. I'm gonna I'm gonna get caught with him. Uh, burn him. 
Get me out of this spot. I'm a little off balance. Uh, can you bite him? A little staggered. Let's see if we can take over his mind. His mind is dominated. And that's a powerful one. I'm gonna stuck over here. Um, evade melee range attacks. I'm like stuck over here. Off balance for two turns. Brain locked for one turn. Is he not? Oh, I guess I didn't get him. Lucky. Push him back a little bit. Oh, I fell into the sand. <laughs> um, I, so I see you a lot. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let me back in there. Oh, he's got to be full health. Okay. <clears throat> All right. All right. Dang, brain lock. Uh, can I just, like, zip my way out of here? No, because I can't control myself. I got no control over where I'm walking here. Let me go do the teleport thing if I can. Can I go over there? This is a bad place to be. Ah! What a terrible place. Okay. Uh, can I teleport over here? I don't want to go back over there, though. There's bad things over there. Uh, I think I just got to get out of here. I hope that this is still here. Oh, hey, hey, buddy. Okay, let's just get out of here. Uh, rejuvenating steel plate. The massive armor training for that. Uh, a mind star of disruption. Balance of equipping of this might be no. Not good. I got a I got a cool one here. Uh, I don't know. So from what I know about the DLC is I know they're. What I understand now, I don't know exactly, but they are really well done. Not necessarily a must, but they're really well, they're, they're well, like if you enjoy the game and you're into the game, then they, they are good stuff. Um, I want to go a gate into the maze and we've got the hidden compound over here. This one's gonna be a little tough. This one I can do though. Who's this fella? Just some mage? Uh, hello. Uh, what are you doing out here, buddy? The story's a sad one. I should not trouble you with it, my friend. Uh, no, tell me. If you insist, I'm a novice mage, and you might notice my goal is to be accepted by the people of Anglewyn and be taught the secrets of the arcane. Who's that? Keepers of our... Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to talk about them. Sorry, my friend. In any case, I must collect many items. I have some already, but I'm still looking for an arcane-infused artifact. You don't happen to have one, I imagine. If you do, tell me. Uh, I'll keep that in mind. Collect an artifact arcane-powered item. Okay. Arcane-powered artifact. Let's do it. If he's still there, we'll give it to him. over here. This is, I think, what was this, like 16 max or something, so it shouldn't be too terrible. Is that an arc? Is that an arcane infused thing? Yeah. Of wizardry. Powered by arcane forces. That's what he wants. That. 
Okay, cool. Those ones are off this week as my tutor's fallen ill. I decided to sneak out and have her wander around the old maze ruins nearby. I know I'll get in trouble if I'm caught. As long as I'm back in a couple days, no one will notice. We get bored cooped up in this place. Remember here, this labyrinth used to be a prison used by uh, the halfling king Rupar during the Age of Dusk. Nothing to threaten a grade 3 mage like me. Is this, you think this is the guy outside talking? Seems like a magical curse infected the place and turned them into a bull like monsters that patrol the halls this day. How exciting! Minotaurs? I know my anti magic friends. We can go like say, "Hey, buddy, we got a we got a we got a magic man over here. How dare he?" Too bad. There's a minotaur. Region. Another one. Uh, let me hit him with this. He doesn't seem to mind that. Doesn't seem to mind getting eaten either. Oops. Ant's mine is shattered. Um, oh, I, my thing's not on again. I forget when I die, this always turns off. Um, he's got like full health. Let me just sort of like leave. Okay. Hit that. I'm going to go bite each other here. Uh, he's coming back. We're going to hit him. I'm not doing any damage to this guy. Press turns on again. Okay, now I can bite him. Okay, what you got? That's an interesting name. Where is it? There it is. It is armor. Oh, boots. Lightning resist. Nature resist. Acid resist. resist. I got some pretty cool boots, though. Get him, got him. A dagger. Sorry, buddy. I like the fox. Why is there always things in the chests? I've never opened another chest again. That's a lie. I'll open every chest I see. I can't resist. I can't help myself. Push that guy back. I'm really hurt. I'm going to jump. Nope. Why doesn't this jump ever work? What's the range of it? Jump back three grids from your targets, springing over any creatures in your way. I guess I can't go. Maybe I think I can't go this way. Three. I don't know how that works. I'm going to heal. I'm going... He's going to be 80... I'm going to mind shatter that guy. Heal myself. Ooh. Ooh. Um, I'm going to lightning speed, but I can't, can't, can't get by things. Oh, I target an enemy. Oh, it switches places with an enemy. Spring over any creatures away. You must engage nearly a straight line directly away from your target. 
This one, let's move, gets me a, a evade. I'll do that. Um, everything used up. Who's going to be the easiest one to kill here? I can bite. No one's ready for dying to bite yet. That guy is. Okay, so there's a heal. Turn that back on. Ooh. Nasty. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> what I get? Object rolls from the chest. What is it? Oh, mine star thing. Okay. That guy just die over here. There we go. Ooh, a fancy hat. Bear. Mace of Massacre. It's the best, it's the best kind of mace. Ouch. That guy. Um, ooh, there we go. A little twelve. That cube had a cloak in him. All right. Um, let's go level up first. So look at all this stuff I've got. I got tons of stuff in here. Okay. Let's get... If I do... Oh, what's this one? So, instantaneous mine. Someone's an icy wall of three four, of three links for four turns. Icy walls are transparent, but block projectiles and enemies. Also make pre-freezing cold and damage for each wall within an enemy... Within a race of one. Throw up some walls around people. That's kind of neat. I'll put one of that, because we're using that. I'm going to get the regen all the way up. Mine becomes more attuned to the way. It's shielded from outside effects. Increase confusion and silence immunities by 20%. Confusion, that'd be kind of nice, like a confusion thing. Hmm. That's a pretty good one, too. What's this one do? Uh, using connection to the matrix, you can see your surroundings area of a race of seven. Okay. Each time you gain a beneficial effect with a regeneration subtype, you increase its duration by longer. Hey, I got a lot of those, so give me that. And fungus reaches into the primordial ages of the world, granting you ancient instincts. When I receive a non-regeneration healing, I gain more health. I want to keep doing this one. And then uh, the wall might be kind of nice. I'll put more into the bite. Doing that a little bit more. And then we'll strengthen up. We'll health up. Yeah. 
And I think I'm gonna... Oh, 36 for that. And I'm at 30. And this one is a... I see breath. I have enough, like, breathy things, I think. Put strength. Okay. Calendar's days are numbered. There you go. Ooh, money. Money and ants. What was that thing I just walked by over there? I think this place is clear. I think I've done everything I need to do here. Yeah. Okay. I assume it says it's a maze. It makes me think there's something else in here, but... I think I've done everything. Oh, there it is. How did I miss that? All that walking around. There is another way down here. Uh, so I want to keep something. I'll keep the hat. This is a arcane folk. Arcane forces powers this. So this is a good hat. I'll keep that for him. I, I didn't see anything. I was kind of trying to watch what was coming in. I didn't see anything that looked like it was really good. Yeah. I mean, I got a couple of nice things, but nothing that's going to help me much. This will give me a light, which goes into... It goes in here, right? Yeah, it goes, it goes in there. So my file is what I'm using right now. Do I, I don't have a necklace. That's embarrassing. Don't want the resist lightning resist or the encumbrance. Yeah, we'll take that one. Oh, only unique yellow items work. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, look, things are going are gonna to kill me again. There's a rare dog down here. And I'm blind. That one on, that one on. Stop blinding me. Open that chest. What's the worst that could happen? These rogues popping up everywhere. Ooh, is that someone's... Oh, yeah, there's a the boss. Let me, uh, let him... Let him fight him a little bit. Let some of my cooldowns come back. Uh, how you feeling, buddy? Well, he didn't do any damage to you. Okay. I'm gonna push you back. Nope. I'm gonna freeze you. A little bit. I will not bite you, but I will just hit you. Gonna hit you a few times then. I want to see if I can eat you. I got him. Makes me so much happier whenever I can get him with a with a with a bite. Uh, does that one count? I just picked up the um, like this. Does this is that what you mean by yellow? This thing. That's nice. I need you, well, that's, a, that's a cool shield. Hey, Bob. It does. Okay. 
I'll stash this one. Okay. Um, I got a couple of, like, a Great Mall of Evisceration. Problem is, I got this cool spell cleaver thing, which I think is probably going to be about as good as it gets until I get something real nice. That passive thing's doing me a lot of good. I know there's a lot of damage going out with that thing. Have so much fun. Probably uh, probability travel is making this trip a breeze. If you should have seen the look on that bandit's face when I came out, came out of one wall, disappeared through another, came up behind him. I saw something. I don't know what it was, but it's big and shadowy. I think chase. I think I tried chasing. I when I tried chasing, I got lost. I just imagined it. I'm sure, I must have saw something cool and exciting. Keep exploring. Half of a wizardry. <laughs> Just really wait until I kill everything before I open these chests up. Looks like a dragon. What is that? It's a sand drake. Can I mind control him? I'll mind control that guy so he can go and worry about his friend there. There you go. Okay, let's get out of here. Hey, I can wear that stuff. Got a lot more armor than what I've got. I'm just wearing this garbage here. It was way better. I keep looking at this thing thinking it's something good. It puts all charms on cooldown for 15 turns. No. You used to heal yourself for 182, but I got enough heals, I think. I don't think that's a big deal. I have to find a necklace, though. Freeze immunity, life, a life regen would be nice. I don't know, though. I think I have enough of that. Especially with all my things that I've got taken. Okay, is this guy still out here? Don't tell the, the halfling jerks. It's powerful and arcane infused. Maybe it'll be enough. Also, you don't have a hat or whatever I just found. Yeah, that thing. A shield. There you go. should collect some of that. Uh, okay. This one is... Time to explore new places. Long forgotten dangerous ones. So I got the maze done. Vanquish the Minotaur. Explore the Sandworm Lair and find out what lurks there. What treasures are to be gained. So we went in there, but we, we lost. Explore the old forest. Find out what lurks there. We tried. Uh, I lost there too. Uh, do you have enough magical items now? Yeah, I'm so glad I'll be able to go back to uh, whatever. I guess I can tell you. You deserve for helping me. During the dark years of the spell hunt, many thousands of years ago, Leninil, uh, Leninil, great mage of Karakur, worried that magic might disappear with her generation. Lost the mortals, uh, be lost to mortals should they need it again. The secret plan into action to build a secret place where magic would be kept alive. Her plan worked, and the group built a town called Angolwin, Western Mountains, marked it on the map, along with a portal to access it. Not many people are accepted there, but it'll arrange for you to be allowed inside. Thanks. A secret city. Discover the truth of the truth about mages. Yeah, I will. Okay. Oh, look, there's my home right there. I see. Do we know where this this is? Zigur. This is the old halfling ruins which we came out of. Oh, there's a portal right next to me. Ah, okay. And there's the town right there. Yeah, let's go visit. We didn't like. 
jump in and join in with some like magic hating people. I feel the feel of terror entering this place. Why? He seems okay. See a large elaborate fountain. A statue of Leninil stands in the center. Her arms outstretched, welcoming all. Around the outside of the fountain stands a dwarf manipulating earth and runes and a human and simple healer's crosier. Elf with a tall elaborate staff and healing, a uh, halfling with a scepter. Moving a, and a fireball. And floating around. Welcome to all welcome who learn from the mistakes of the past. Let the arcane once more be a boon, not a bane. Welcome to ease the suffering of the presence. May we have the wisdom to one day reunite the world in safety and enlightenment. All are welcome to prevent the th threats of the future. Gather and all that. Okay. Hello. Tall woman stands before you. Her fair skin radiates incredible power through her white robe. I am Lenanil of the Karakruel. Karakruel. Welcome to our city. What may I do for thee? Uh, nothing. Sorry. Just looking for the bathroom. Who's this guy? Geomancer. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Funny way of spelling Galadriel. You there, yes, young one. You seem to like the adventuring fair, up to all sorts of doodaddle in the outside world. Doodaddle! Imagine, well, don't forget to pay patronage to our good library here in the city. The riches of the world are all well and good. Where would we be without the gift of knowledge? Yeah, yeah, okay. Good good talk. Um, staff training, no thanks. What's this one? This is a, a library. What is magic? Used to, yeah, let's read it. Two gold, buy it. Wow. Okay. Okay. Let lecture on humility. Okay, that's the kind of stuff I should be reading. Is that, is that our, our buddy? No. Nope. He just nobody. Ring guy. What was this one? This was the, uh, the healer infusion thing. Skull, thanks for hanging out. As always, I hope you have a good one. Okay. What an exciting town. I guess I'm not cool enough to talk with Galadriel over here. Contents of Lecture on Humility just says, paying two gold to read about magic and then not reading it. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. <laughs> that was for you. You could, you, so you can pause the stream and read that thing. That was the read. That's why I did it for, I did it for you. All right. Uh, who's that? Is that some of them, some of them Zeger folks? It is. There's those are kinds of things. There's a uh, there's a scintillating cave, which is real easy, and then a little a town over there. That sounds familiar. I think I've been to this town before. Scintillating cave, and the yeah, I think I've been here. I know I've been here. Is this a halfling town? How's it going, Quinzog? Wow. Uh, Ogre Town, okay. Yeah, I know I've been here before. Or whatever you guys are. Shabbily dressed elf opens the door, scratches his head in apparent puzzlement. Another adventurer, what have we met? I can't people tell people apart unless they wear brightly covered headbands. You need to help me. Uh, yeah, what do you want? Three elixirs stand between me and acceptance into the Brotherhood of Alchemists. Unless I've been through that already, I'm never quite sure, but I think that's the case. Bring me the ingredients. Um, you're not making any sense. Me need pieces of scary monsters for happy-making drink. You get me pieces, you probably get eaten by monsters. Oh, elves. Elves. Get a dose of every elixir you help me make. If your help gets me into the Brotherhood, you get a half an elixir of invulnerability lying around that I'll give you. 
Don't try anything. I've already turned down the other half. I've already drowned down the other half. Uh, okay. Three elixirs I need. I'll show you the ingredients of one at a time. You know, you're using an elixir of mysticism, savior, or mastery. This is four additional stat points. This is permanently increasing all saving throws by four. Permanently increasing my magic and willpower by three. I want... Saving throws. Here's a list of uh, uh, bits I need. What do you need? I found the bear paw. I found the ward claw. I need a one vial of fireworm saliva. Fireworm. Fireworm. Okay. Okay. All right. Fireworms. I think the scintillating caves have have fireworm stuff. I think this might be this is kind of like baby level stuff. Oh, you're right. It was yeah. You're right. It was uh, tales of Middle Earth. That's right. It makes complete sense. Why Galadriel would be here. This might be a little too much, too uh, low for me. I'm not going to find anything any good here. I'm just going to go in here and just kind of like smack some things around. So Tales of Middle Earth, I was at this earlier, talking about this earlier. That, that that's the one that came out in the '90s, and then they changed it. To, or, um, hey, I finally got an amulet. They changed. They um, that's why Tales of Majel All has a 2012 date on it. So did they get rebuilt in that time? Um, let's see where that where that necklace go. I saw it. That's a ring. Was it a ring? I thought it was a necklace. There it is. Uh, yeah. There we go. Finally. Plus three strength. We gotta escort this guy through the caves. Yeah, come on, buddy. Where'd you go? Can't save you if you go running off. What are you doing? There's a bear there. Oh, you made it. Okay. I will take five unflinching resolve. Cover effects that would disable it. Each charm you have a 50% chance to recover from a single stun effect. Hmm. Reducing all like diseases, poisons, and wounds by 17% duration. If your life falls below 50%, your life regeneration increases by 16.1 for 8 turns. Yeah, passive vitality? Yeah, yeah. I want that one. Man, the ramen noodles are mad today. Crystals are moving of their own volition. Snakes. Clicky, clicky, clicky. Tome 4 came out. Okay, so there's still a Tome 2 branch that has some of the old Tolkien stuff. Okay, okay. Another one? Um, pretend to help this time and you'll use a technique to make the portal fizzle. 
and then Molda, the inner, injured seer, will be sent to Zigger to dealt with properly. I'm going to try this one. Are you a halfling? Yeah, I'm going to do this. Okay, so uh, you are in my party now. And uh, we're going to go walking around. Yeah, I'm helping you out. Just you wait. What you want about? Ooh, he's tough. Make sure she gets out of here. There's the portal. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I escorted them out. Uh, at the last moment, you invoke the power of nature. The portal fizzles and transports Emiluda, the injured seer, to Zigur. You can feel nature thanking you. Oh, you're welcome, nature. Um, Earth's eyes. What's that one do for me? This one is instantaneous. Use your connection to nature. You can see your surrounding area. Meh. Nature's touch plus one. Touch the target for yourself and you feed it with nature, healing it for a bunch. Oh, oh, I use that. You already have that one, and I can heal me myself more. Mental save by twelve. Willpower, cunning. Um, I'll take the. Uh, I'll do more nature's touch because that's the one. That's this one, right? Yeah, that's good. I think that's sort of my emergency heal. Torque over there. Ooh, look at them all. Roll for the ant slayer. Sorry, Rolf, not interested in your stories. Are you, are you? Oh yeah, the purple thing right there. That means you're boss man. Okay, that's why you're so tough. Huge tooth taken from the mouth and the deep bellow. The, um, yeah, the spell blaze scar. Okay, okay. That's kind of what that story is all about. We saw that before too, didn't we? Okay, done. Boss done. Let's get out of here. I got another cool um, pick. I'll um, I'll save that. Life regen, more life. Um, my healing gets better with this thing, but I, I like my, my, my tanky one. I'm all good. What was that one? Earth's dirt, you saw a huge dark cloud over a small town when you entered. You were greeted by an army of air elementals slaughtering the population. Where? When you approached Dearth, you saw a huge dark cloud over the small town. Where's Dearth at? Dearth is way over here. No, it's Zigger. Dearth is my starting town? Dearth, up there. Okay. How do we get up there?
People are getting slaughtered in dearth. Created by an army of elementals slaughtering the population. Okay. Huge dark cloud hovering in the town. You hear screams coming from the town square. Oh, hello. Ow! Ow! Okay. There's a bunch of them. Um, hmm. can I control you? Yeah. Mine shattered. Oh, I'm going to die. Oh, okay. So I select the guy I'm running away from. Okay, I'm getting it. Um... I see. I get. Okay, I get it now. Um, fight that guy. Ouch. I'm assuming nature damage probably isn't the best thing to do against them. But that's what I do, so I'm going to do it more of it. Bite that air elemental. Not looking good. I'll heal myself. It's a good heal. Okay, that one's down. That big guy right there. Oh, I, didn't, I thought I'd get a kill on that one. I didn't get it. I was hoping to get a kill and get the heal. Um, I'm going to have to elect, electric get out of here. Heal myself. Wait here a minute. Get a little bit of health. Get some cooldowns back. Help me out there, buddy. Don't stand in the way, though. I think he just got <laughs> He just got fried. <laughs> Okay, I got him. I got him. Wrong one. I I got to dominate mine on him, which I didn't mean to do. Get him out of here. Ooh. Go out and kill some of his friends. I can, still, I can still trade. The shops are still open. What a town. Which man, it hurts. Uh, yeah, do can I dominate? Dominate him. He'll let him go kill his friend. That dominate might actually do that more often. That's good. It's real good. Okay, Halfling comes forth from this hiding place. You killed them all? Are we safe now? Please tell me this was a bad dream. Be at ease, Halfling. Dispatch most of the, those monstrosities. Do you know where they came from? From nowhere. I don't know. I was tending my crop outside the town when I heard screaming. As I entered the town, I saw a dark cloud over here. Those, those things were coming from it and blasts of lightning. 
It's not coming for now. I'll look for somebody who could help dispose of this nefarious cloud. You've saved many people today. I've heard rumors of a reclusive town of wise and powerful men with somebody in the mountains. Maybe they could help. If they even exist. Also, those uh, Zeger something people that claim to fight magic. Where are they? Why are they not here? Well, I won't let you down, buddy. Class only must find a powerful ally to remove it. Rumors of a secret town in the mountains. Oh, you know what? Let's go talk to Galadriel. Fusions have evolved. Cool. <laughs> yeah, don't don't want to mention the Halfling Garden Rye. Yeah, don't talk about. We don't talk about that guy. <laughs> I didn't ask him to come right out of hiding. He just sort of ran out there. <laughs> Galadriel. I'm. I don't, I don't, interesting. Uh, quest line like we get to choose. Which one do we want to go to? Oh, it's a little bit of a lag here when we all load this up. If she didn't talk to me, we'll go talk to the other guys. Hey, I need to help all. Help, help me. Notice the devastation that happened there. I sent some friends, th thence, 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 to disperse the crowd, but the truth lies not there. He who created this abomination is Urkus. He's a tempest, powerful archmage, channels the storms. Years ago, he went rogue, severing himself from the angle wind. He remains quiet at first, and thus we without action, but it seems we have no choice now. Cleansing the skies will take much time. In the meanwhile, if thou art willing, we can send thee to Urkus's lair to face him. I will not lie to thee. We can send thee thence. <laughs> now she's just messing with me. But this could be a death trap. We have no means for thou to depart his lair. He lives atop a tall peak in the Dakara Mountains. I'm ready. I'll not let the good people of Dearth down. You step out of the unfamiliar grounds, you are nearly on top of one of the highest peaks and all you can see. The storm is raging above your head. Am I at the level for this? I should have asked her. Is this the level for me? Learn the real threat is Urkus. Alright, Urkus. Oh man, he's out there playing the guitar. Going down. Oh, I don't want to fight a bunch of these guys. That's what's going to happen, though. Stop it! Yeah, go kill something else. Why is he still just standing there? Urkus is something. Yeah, I have a feeling Urkus. I mean, if he's able to make, like, air elementals destroy a town, I feel like maybe I might be a little bit outmatched. I haven't done any air element. Oh, who are you? Oh, just, just a snow giant. Uh, I'm going to mess with your mind so you can go attack that giant for me. Thank you. War axe. Man, that that mind control thing is powerful. Level fourteen twenty three dungeon. Okay, so I'm on the on the cusp. I can't move. That's not good. I just want to step out. There you go. Uh, mind control that guy. And then I just have to deal with this one. I'm going to bite him. I just, ate a, I just ate a dragon. And my frost damage isn't going to do much, quite as much good uh, in here, I don't think. I 
just ate a giant. Hey, John. Demons. He's got demons. Good giants. Do I have a level up I didn't do? Yeah. I'm gonna check there was a new DLC on the way. Yeah, I I I saw that as well. Um, I was hoping it'd be out by free games month time, so that I could show it off a bit more, but um, not quite yet. I'm gonna improve my wing buffet because I've been using that quite a bit, and it might be better served down here. Um, this one is that sustain meditation. Reduces the damage you and your summons deal by 50%. Yeah, okay. Make sure I can heal better. I think. There's three... Yeah, three DLCs. So you can get the base game for free. Um, or you can get it on Steam. Support the devs. With Steam buy. Um, and... The um, yeah, the other the DLC are on uh, are all there. And uh, what I, someone was asking earlier if it's necessary. I don't think it's necessary, like not to begin with. Like you wouldn't to begin with, you wouldn't see anything about the DLC. It wouldn't. It's it's all going to be stuff that'll take place, like that you will see after you play the game a while, like additional races and classes and things. That won't matter to you at all, starting out. I'm in kind of a sticky situation here. I'm going to do my uh, my exciting this thing. Break, shatter some mines, let them go chew on each other. Yep. Uh... Yeah, um, yeah, and there's, is the arena in the, in the base game, or is that, there's the arena one, and then there's, there's one other one, I think that's in the base. I know that the, the orc one I know is, is a DLC. Go get him, Zorn. No. Ouch. Ouch. What'd he get? Ooh, some good armor, huh? Um, <clears throat> less armor. I got some, actually, I got some pretty good stuff. Keep what I got. For the Tinker subclass. I never played that one. I'd say if, if you if you play the base game and you find yourself really liking the base game, then yeah, I think you will enjoy the DLC. I suppose that's true with any game, though. But it's not like... 
Not like an EA game where you have to have the DLC to play it, you know? EA is in Electronic Arts. There's a fancy guy. Who are you? You're Sanuthra, the Storm Drake Hatchling. Um, I want to confuse you behind you there. There we go. Now I get him chewing on you too. Hey, look, there's Arcus. Arcus, that hurt a lot. Can you not do that anymore? So if I click on you, and then I can jump back. Yeah. Arcus, that was not cool. That hurt a lot. He's over here killing snakes. Oh man, Arcus just destroyed me. I'm going in. I'm getting them. You let me at them. Uh, can I like? Can I rest for just a minute? Get these cooldowns off. Okay. Uh, now, can I go ahead and like throw some things on? Like I'll turn that on. Let's see if it stays. And can I, like, hit these guys and say now? Hey. I'm ready. Okay. Cold in here. Real cold. Can you can you get this off of me, please? Do I have a do I have a rune that will get me out of here? Use that one. Um, okay. Give myself some evasion. I'm gonna die. Can I, like, uh, dig my way into the wall here? I'm in trouble here. <clears throat> so, have you uh, have you been to that new website, conjunctivitis.com? <laughs> now, there's a site for sore eyes. All right, now now you made me mad, buddy. Now you made me real mad. He froze me again, but I'm fast. Okay, I gotta heal. I can't even touch the guy. I can't even touch the guy. He's so... So much better than me. <laughs> I can't. There's no way. <laughs> Let me wait a minute. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do this time. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn these on. Let's get over it. Square. I'm gonna turn on... Um... This one. And, oh, I go. I just got blink now instead of the other one. Okay, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to blink. I'm going to blink right up to his little face. <clears throat> and then I'm going to um, hit him with that. How do you feel about that? 5% damage. I can't do this to you, can I? No, he's immune to that, of course. Uh, I need this on. I forgot to turn it on. <laughs> Death and tells my tell of Majel is usually permanent. Means of resurrection will be proposed in the main menu. 
During my game, I achieved level 10, and I got a new. I got two achievements. The Secret City. All right. Urkus. I didn't even. I got five. I did five percent damage to Urkus. Urkus destroyed me just like that dad joke. There we go. There is Tome. It is. Uh, it's on Steam. It is still, in my opinion, one of my. I, it's, I, it's, I struggle with whether I think of my favorite roguelikes, whether I like Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead or Tales of Majael. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, there it is on, on Steam here. Uh, again, you can pick it up for free. This is Free Games Month. And so we're highlighting the freebies of the world. And <clears throat> you can go to uh, the website and get it free if you wish. But you can also pick up the DLC uh, and buy the game here to support the, develop, the development, and and um, it is still being developed. The the there was a big update back in June, and they're working on. I think I, I think I read it in here. Um, must have been the one before. So they are working on the next next DLC, right? Um, I think that's what's going on here. There you go. Yeah, Lost Land Beta. That's what they're working on. So, when that happens, I'll be back. We'll play some more Tome. It's been too long since I played some Tales of Majel. Thanks for hanging out tonight. I certainly appreciate it. If you have not hopped on the Discord, there's a link bouncing around here somewhere. Um, I have to okay my own chat rules. There we go. <clears throat> There's a Discord link. Thank you for hanging out. I will see you here tomorrow, and we'll play something else. And being free games month, we'll play something else, something else free. <laughs>